When it comes to choosing a Linux for beginners, Ubuntu always comes on the top. I'm not going to tell you why you should use Ubuntu, but in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu in the simplest way possible. Hi, I'm Abhishek from itsforce.com and thanks to Linode for partnering with us for this video. The method I'm going to show you in this tutorial will replace Windows with Ubuntu by wiping it all together from your system. This way, Ubuntu will be the only operating system on your computer. Since it formats the entire system, I strongly advise you to back up your important files on an external USB disk. Once you have installed Ubuntu, you can put your data back on Ubuntu and use it like it was always there. Before you do anything, you have to download Ubuntu. It is available as a single ISO file of around 2GB in size. You can go to the Ubuntu website and download it from there. All the required links are mentioned in the description if you need it. You can download the entire ISO file of 2GB from the direct link or you can go to the alternate downloads and download it via torrents if you have slow or inconsistent internet. Once you have downloaded Ubuntu's ISO file, the next step is to create a live USB of Ubuntu. A live USB basically allows you to boot into Ubuntu from a USB disk. On Windows, you can use Rufus, just download this free software, install it and plug it to your USB and then burn the Ubuntu ISO you have downloaded to this USB disk. If you want detailed steps, you can follow my video which shows how to create a live USB of Ubuntu. Click on the I above to go to the video. Once you have created the live USB, plug it into your computer. And when you see the logo of your computer manufacturer, press F2 or F10 or F12 keys to go to the BIOS setting. The BIOS screen may look different from computer to computer. Now you need to make sure that your computer boots from the USB disk instead of the hard disk like it used to. You can do that by moving the USB up in the boot order and then save the change and exit. So your system will reboot again and this time it should boot from Ubuntu and you should see a screen like this where you will see the option to boot into a live Ubuntu session or install it. Now you should be able to boot into Ubuntu live session. It could take around 10-12 seconds and then you will see a screen like this. So just click on the install Ubuntu option here and it will ask you to choose some basic configuration, choose the appropriate options for you and your system and then it will show you what kind of installation you want. You should go with the normal installation. You also have the option to download updates while installing it but I do not recommend that because it may increase the duration of installing Ubuntu. You can install updates right after installing Ubuntu and it won't be a problem at all. The most important screen comes at this time. If there are other operating system installed, you may get the option to install Ubuntu along with them and that is called the dual boot method. I have described it in another video and you can watch the video here. Click on the I if you want that. Since our goal here is to only have Ubuntu Linux on your system, you should go with the option of erase disk and install Ubuntu. This will format your system and remove any other operating system and install Ubuntu. When you hit the install now button, you will see a warning that your disk is going to be wiped out. You know that. And things are pretty straightforward from here. You will be asked to choose a time zone. You will be asked to enter your username and password and simple steps like that and when you do that it will show you some slides so and you have to wait for like a couple of minutes and then you'll have the Ubuntu system installed. So when the installation finishes you will see the option to continue testing it or restart it. 
you can click on restart now without hesitation. When you restart the system, you might encounter a shut down screen which says please remove the installation medium and press enter. It is simply asking you to remove USB disk and then press enter. This is to avoid booting into USB disk again on the next reboot. And that's it folks. The next time you boot, you'll be booting straight into Ubuntu. You'll see this login screen, just enter your password and then you will be enjoying Ubuntu. I hope you were able to install Ubuntu with this method. If you face any problem or if you have any question, please let me know in the comment section. And if you manage to install Ubuntu successfully, I highly recommend watching what to do after installing Ubuntu so that you get a better and smoother experience with Ubuntu. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe for more Ubuntu related videos. See you in next video. Bye bye.